What is up, everybody? I'm your host of Browning and Stave, and food rationing has started in the UK. There are a lot of factors at play, and we're going to take a look at it here on your place for quick breakdowns, so leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and let's get into it. The Guardian is reporting that the UK has begun rationing eggs, citing a particularly bad avian flu and spiraling costs. This rationing is expected to last into 2023, and the list of foods that need to be rationed may grow because avian flu isn't the only challenge the UK is up against. Drought has also had a major impact on farmers' yields. The head of food policy at the Soil Association said many farmers have seen a 20% decrease in production, and said without immediate and concerted effort from the government, store shelves will be bare. Not sure what he wants the government to do, considering they've been the ones working against the farmers for a while. I'm sure you all remember the farmers' protest. So on top of avian flu, drought, and horrible government policies, farmers and truckers also have incredibly high diesel prices working against them in their quest to feed the country. And the prices just keep going up. The result will undoubtedly be what we've seen everywhere else. Small farms will go out of business, and the government will buy them up giving them further control of the food supply they ruined. This is a downward spiral that could easily spiral out of control. Inflation, energy prices, drought, bad policies, and scarcity are creating a perfect storm and could result in a lot of deaths this winter. Of course, the high energy prices are also affecting regular people, with some having to choose between dinner and heating their home. This is not a good sign of things to come because things are only getting worse for the foreseeable future. Stories like this will become more common and severe. The energy situation is to the point that they will be experiencing blackouts on cold nights, which is when you obviously need heat the most, especially newborns and the elderly. To better convey the severity of the situation, the UK government, and I quote, has wargamed emergency plans to cope with energy blackouts lasting up to seven days in the event of a national power outage amid growing fears over security of supply this winter, end quote. That is insane. Could you imagine a week of no lights, no water, no cell phone, no way to work, no way to keep food cool for seven days, all because your government is either insanely incompetent or is successfully trying to unalive people this winter? Citizens in the UK are rightfully pissed off and making that well known. This video has focused specifically on the UK, but the story is similar across Europe. Food and energy security is an issue everywhere, and protests keep growing as prices keep rising. The uncertainty on the global stage is beginning to take its toll as the petrodollar's potential collapse has many nations on the brink. The rise of the BRICS nations could mark the beginning of the end of the reign of NATO nations. I pulled today's stories mostly from The Guardian, a little bit from the UK Express, but nothing beats first-hand accounts, so if you're in the UK or anywhere in Europe, I would love to hear from you about what's going on. Is it worse than what it sounds? Is it as bad as it sounds? Let us know in the comments, and thanks for watching your place for quick breakdowns. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.